Hi there, welcome to Dave Downey's Fly Fishing World YouTube channel. Today I'm going to tie <coughs> a little rubber legged nymph. Uh, it's based on a French nymph. What we've got in the hook is a size 12. Obviously, I tie these down to size 16s, 10s, various different weights, but it's a size 12. It's a pretty simple nymph. Uh, filling mill, barbless check nymph hook. Bronzed. I do prefer a bronzed hook over a uh, over the black version. So I'm starting with 14 0 wisp thread. So we'll tie it in. And we'll go back. Okay, and then come back again. Now we've got to do this in different stages. What I'm going to use, I mean that's a 3.3mm gold Bidos bead. Bidos shell back as well that I'm going to use. So I'm using a small shell back. What I want to do is push the shell back inside the bead and then just tie it down. I know you can super glue these but I don't bother. Uh, at the end of the day the, the dressing should hold it all in place. So just some wraps of thread around it. The other thing I'm going to need is, is some centipede legs. These are now getting very very hard to get a hold of. So I'll take one leg and we will catch it. So what I've done is it's a loop but I'm going to take the two unlooped ends and I'm going to tie them in at the butt. Okay, so tie it in at the butt and then we just trim it. So if you want to be really really pedantic we're looking at one, two, three, four, five. Six bars, seven bars on, on the actual rubber. So, what we need to do now is take the thread back up, up, finish, okay, take the thread off. Now, we need a fluorescent orange floss, you can use glow bright. I'm using my own floss, I like it because it, it opens up and it's, it's a really nice colour. So, I just pull the legs out of the way, tie the floss just under the, the shell back, pull it tight, and then try and build up like a little tiny butt. Now, instead of trimming that at that side, I'm going to pull it back this way and hold it in place, and then wind back over it. And the reason being, I don't get any wee tags sticking out because it's going to be covered by the body. Okay, now we can trim it. So, I'll just trim that off. Right, and just wind that up. And we'll finish the floss in behind the bead. Right, now we're going back to the wisp, 14-0, tie it in. At this point, obviously, the thread's starting to cover the, the shell back, and you do want a decent coverage on this one. You don't want to leave gaps, because obviously, with rules and fips mush, uh, anything shown, then it's basically deemed illegal. So, I like to make sure it's covered almost with the thread before I put the body on. So, I'll just keep going. back down and then back up and then let's go again. Right, so that's it nice and covered. We've still got our orange butt showing. Right, wax, wax the thread. Okay, a little bit of varnish on the back of the thread just so that the material can get a good grip. Then I'm using black candy dubbin, just the plain black. Well, it's, it's got a little bit of sparkle through it, so I'm just going to dub that on nice and tight. We're not wanting this all straggly. We want it nice and tight. It's quite a fine dubbin. So I'm just going to keep doing that, and I'm going to dub it on nice and tight. Then start winding it on. Okay, keep going, keep going, keep going until you get to 
about two thirds of the way up. Now we need to go and get the rubber leg again. Now it's still one piece, so get the two open ends touching. So I'm just try to line the two of them up. And then offer them up and just tie over the top three or four turns, grab them, grab the other ones down below. So I've got those with those fingers and I've got that one in my other two fingers. Figure eight over the top. Okay. Now I'm going to trim it. And I'm still left with one piece, which I can then use for the next fly. And I should get at least one more fly out of that. So I grab the two hind legs, pull them back, grab yourself some more wax. Now you could probably put a different colour thorax dubbing on, but I really do. I like the, the whole fly to be black, apart from the one orange bit, and it, it works great for grailing. It's heavy as well, small. So pull the two legs back and just start putting a dubbing in. Need another little bit. I don't know why that piece of flush is following me. And then just whip finish round about the front legs. So I've done a little figure eight there. I'm going to put another wee bit of dubbing in. Not very much. And then pull those legs back. And it slides off. So we'll go again. Now, pull everything back. Get those rubber legs out of the way. Work finish. Same again. Out of the way. Work finish. And trim. Now, that's just such a hairy little bug, and it's a heavy bug as well. And I've done really well with the grailing this year on it. And you're just giving that little bit of orange. And, you know, I really like this with a gold bead. And I hope you're really enjoying these flies on my channel. And if you could subscribe to the channel, that'd be great. Uh, and have a look at my website www.fly-fishingworld.com Thanks for watching, it's Dave Downey, cheers.